Hi, I'm Dr. Kaplan for Helios Telemedicine for Men. In medicine, like so many other human ventures, we are always revisiting what we have considered to be the gold standard for various processes, philosophies, and standards of care. We are constantly updating styles and techniques, changing protocols and medications when we find that an update of the current one or a change to a completely different one works better. This is especially true when it comes to testosterone replacement therapy. Remember that the goal of treating testosterone deficiency is to reduce or eliminate the symptoms, improving a man's health and well-being without messing up other hormones or introducing complications such as infertility and high blood counts. 40 years ago, the standard of care was to give monthly doses of large intramuscular injections, meaning that men would get huge bolus intramuscular injections. They would then be super therapeutic for the first nine or 10 days, therapeutic for the next nine or 10, and then sub-therapeutic for the rest of the month. What a roller coaster ride. The dosages and intervals have steadily declined such that while some clinics still administer large bi-weekly doses, most are now administering testosterone in smaller doses on a weekly basis. The peaks and troughs are much shallower and most patients stay within the therapeutic range throughout the week. That said, there are still significant peaks which may be higher than are needed to achieve the goal and there are still troughs that may still be deep enough to allow some symptoms to return in the last day or two. Over the decades, we have seen that increasing the frequency and reducing the dosage of testosterone injections reduces the peaks and valleys, improves the therapeutic effect, and reduces the side effects. So now there is an emerging interest in taking it to the daily dosing level, microdosing. Based on our prior experience, it makes sense that with daily subcutaneous injections of less than a quarter of a milliliter, the variation in testosterone level narrows such that dosages can be fine-tuned and most of the side effects and complications can be reduced or eliminated. For those who are currently receiving 200 milligrams of testosterone cypionate by intramuscular injection or 100 milligrams by subcutaneous injection, your dosage may be as small as 12 to 15 milligrams. Some clinics have already instituted daily subcutaneous dosage with very good success, and I am considering adding it to Helios Care as an option. I'll update you when I make that decision. Until then, please check out my website at www.heliostelemedicine.com to see my prior videos and blog posts find links to articles that go into deeper depth, or to take a complimentary self-assessment survey. You can also make an appointment to see me through the website. Thanks for your time and attention. Bye for now.